All right, guys, this is Kevin at KNG Mowers. Uh, I've had a lot of y'all asking me about the bigger class mower, like your, you know, 10, uh, $11,000 range. So uh, I kind of wanted to do a little comparison for y'all on a, a Grasshopper, Skag, and Hustler. Of course, I just grabbed some random decks and random motors, uh, but I'll go over them a little better. Um, but a lot of you guys are asking me to do another comparison, so I'm gonna hit. I'm gonna. I'm gonna do this for y'all. Um, I'll go ahead and start with uh, with the overall, which I heard in the other video. Uh, Grasshopper is known as being the most reliable. Um, Skag's pretty close to them. Like, uh, for example, we've never replaced a bearing on a Skag wheel bearing, deck bearing, nothing. No, we won't, we're a new dealer for them, but we're starting to get a lot of Skags in for service. And that's one thing that we still haven't done yet is replaced like a spindle bearing or nothing on them. Um, Skag's also known as having the best cut. And uh, I'll give you an example. A guy took a bad boy out back cut with it. And uh, he said, man, it ain't nowhere near close to that Skag. So and that was just back there in wet clover. And again, it's just it's something normal people don't notice, but the clippings disperse well. Um, it, it's a really good cut mower. Uh, Hustler is, is, is man, it's, it's kind of an underdog uh, around here. Uh, our city uses them. Hustler is a really, really good mower. The VX deck cuts very well. Uh, I'll kind of show you the opening on it. You're talking about the openings and stuff. Uh, Hustler's known as having the most reinforcement on the front and it's welded to the baffles. It's a whole different setup. Uh, on the Skag, the reason it does cut a little better, and this is a small Skag, I got the little Tiger Cat 52. If I can fix my little deal here. There we go. That's why the skag disperses a little bit, gets the, gets the grass really out of that deck really good. Um, it's because of that deck right there. So, uh, and then uh, we'll go ahead and show you grasshoppers. Grasshopper redesigned their deck a few years ago, added just a few little pieces in it, and uh, got that thing cutting wet grass really good and throwing it out a little better. And uh, let's see, what else we got? Hold on, it's a fancy deal. All right, and then you got your bad boy deck. We got all four. Bad Boy has the overall stoutest deck because it's just one solid, like quarter inch steel piece. Um, even their little, the deal that the deck wheels are held on is just crazy on this deck. Um, they also do like a three quarter inch, I mean a quarter inch plate around each spindle, which you can kind of see up there. Um, so anyways, let me get, let me get this more. All right, so I'll start with Bad Boy. This is the Rogue. This is kind of my go-to mower. This is what I mower churchyard with. Uh, I've got a cheetah as well, and I've got a 337 grasshopper. I do prefer this mower. Uh, it does ride a little better. This has your long travel, like a, like the olds I got back there, the suspension system on it. Um, and so here, I'll kind of shake it a little bit. But this thing here just rides like a dream. There is no suspension on the seat whatsoever. And out of all these, this is the best ride by far. Kevin, please don't break the dirt bike. All right, so uh, uh, we'll go with the positives. Uh, out of all four, Bad Boy just smokes them on the front forks. Uh, also in the framework, it's like a channel frame uh, all the way back, and it's it's just a crazy well-built mower. Uh, this one kind of blows off four away as far as just ease of working on it. If you'll notice, Everything's just wide open. You got those big nine quart, you got a nine quart hydraulic system, dual, separate. And uh, I even work on my deck from here. I can get to that idler, that idler pull in stuff. Just a just a, a good, simple design. Uh, the black back plate with four bolts, just the whole thing sets off and we can work on the motor right there. Um, I love the, the tires out of all four. This one has like the most aggressive tire pattern. It doesn't tear the grass up near as bad, doesn't get stuck as easy. Uh, this is also the most adjustable at all of them. You can adjust this footboard wherever you want. You can adjust this wherever you want. You can also put this on either side of the mower. Uh, on the new machines, the factory's also including an extension pedal for your feet. A lot of people are complaining their knee was hitting the arm when they were pushing the deck up and down, so that got fixed. Uh, they're really good about listening to us on changing stuff. Uh, I really like that seat. So this is my go-to. This is usually what I enjoy mowing on, just because it rides a little bit better. All right, we'll move over to the Hustler. All right, okay, so your negatives are bad boy. I'll go ahead and hit them. Uh, your smalls, we go through a few more smalls with bad boy than we do the other four. Um, and I call smalls like a choke cable burning against the motor, throttle cable here and there. 
uh, a bearing in the deck every once in a while or wheel bearing. It just seems like we go through a few more on this machine than we do the others. It's not a big deal. It's a few bucks here and there, um, but it does add up in, 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 uh, in repair costs. So what I do, I, a lot of my bad boy guys have a little old crap box in the truck and they just keep some parts because they can work on just about everything on the mower in the yard that they're mowing. So if a wheel burn goes out, just pop a new one in there and have it in the box. Uh, that's how I was born into bad boy in 07. I, I, I loved them because I could work on my own lawnmower even though I'm mechanically handicapped. So two year warranty. The other thing with bad boy, the negative is everybody here has a longer warranty. It's figured into the price. That's why you're fixing to see a price difference. This mower is 10 or really 96.99 is what it starts at in a 54 but it goes up to, uh, uh, this model here is 10 grand with a 35 Kawasaki, it's FX 1000, or it's 10 699 with a 37 horsepower Vanguard fuel injection. You get a 72 inch deck for $200 more. So this is definitely the cheapest 72. Um, no, actually the, the next one, uh, the Hustler's almost the same price in the 72. This is one of the cheaper mowers out of the three. Um, Two-year warranty, you can buy up to five-year if you want, but Bad Boy leaves that as an option. Also on the 0% financing, um, Bad Boy have to pay a little more at the bank fee because the other three have the price of the 0%, most of it figured into the price of the mower already. Bad Boy wants to leave you with the choices. If you want warranty, pay for it. If you want if you want the 0% interest, you pay for it. That way you're not, you're not paying for it without knowing about it. All right, now on your Hustler, you get a five-year, 500-hour warranty on this machine or a two-year unlimited hour, I believe. Yeah, to your unlimited hour. So on the Hustler, this is the X1. I really like this more in the 54, 61 inch deck. I accidentally got this one in 72. And it actually hit me that you can get a 72 inch Hustler for under 10,000. This mower is actually coming out just a hair cheaper than that one with a five year warranty, which is really cool. It comes with a little better seat than the bad boy, but the mower has no suspension. So it, it does ride a little bit rougher, but it's really not a bad ride. Uh, this is the FX850V, which I believe is the biggest motor on the X1. Um, this more comes out a little under 10, around 95 with the 61, and you get it with the 54 inch deck for a little bit cheaper. Um, but yeah, this is a really good mower. Uh, I love the way the deck wheels are, are tucked in a little bit more. Now, if you'll notice on the Super Z, they're tucked way in the deck. I love the bull nose on the deck. Super, super stout front deck. Um, I would lift this up, but it, I've got to unbolt this to lift it up to show you. So I'll just kind of get a little closer kind of like I did in the bad boy. Things are a little bit tighter with the Hustler. Uh, if you'll notice, it's just a plastic, plastic on the bad boy with hand nuts. This is also, this is metal with hand nuts. Uh, the back of this thing, this sets lower. This is a pretty low set machine. So I, I, I believe this will take heels a little better. I know the Super Z is known for taking the heels a little bit better than nearly all mowers alive. But that bad boy's got a pretty good stance too. So uh, this is a this is a 27 horse Kawasaki, which of course uh, will handle that 72 inch deck just fine. Maybe a little bit weak in tall grass, wet grass, but other than that, that's uh, that mower is amazing. I love the new seat, and these are all 21 models, by the way. All right, now let's go to your Skag. I brought out the Tiger Cat. Tiger Cat keeps you in that 10 dollar price range. This is a 52, so it's 89.50 with the cool thing about this tiger cat is you get the ft kawasaki fuel injection or a 32 horse vanguard uh, 61 inch decks on sale for 99.99 so uh, this is known as having the best performing deck now little things that i noticed with the skag um if you'll notice all four frames this looks like it's got the lightest frame but another thing they did was they did a bolt on front end so if you break your front end you just replace it whereas all the other ones if you really hurt yourself and break the front end, you'll have to replace the whole entire frame. So I thought that was a pretty good touch, even though it was the lightest. Um, I love the way that Skag does their belt. So Bad Boy and Gra Hustler both do one belt system for the deck, where Skag uses this system right here. Um, and it's a, it's a two belt system. Uh, this one here, so it won't slip. And then you've got that one going back to the to the idler play. I love these automotive idlers. We started using these on Bad Boy 2 this year. Um, but uh, yeah, this is just an incredible machine. Uh, the seat the seat rides really well, even though the mower has no suspension. You've got four shocks underneath the seat and the seat. So uh, with the seat plate and the seat, it's not bad. Uh, I love the compact design of the 48 and 52. This is probably the nicest compact mower out of all of them. The engine, this FT Kawasaki, I don't know if any of you use this yet. Uh, 
you've got it on that uh hustler fast track and you've got it as an option on this one fuel injected this is an amazing motor um but uh yeah and even though it's a small frame you still got plenty of trim room to trim with so 61 inch just a little bit bigger so your skag again 89.50 for 52 uh 99.99 for the 61 32 horsepower um it's pretty you know regular tires got a little bit lighter stance i can't see it taking the heels near as good as the hustler or the bad boy all right and or the grasshopper so now we're going to go to the grasshopper i believe this is probably the the uh the least talked about in the market but man they have really listened so i don't know if y'all see the stance on the back this is the new 300 model so you can get this in the 28 fuel injective vanguard or in this one's a 37 this is one step up uh, i'm a big fan of both of them so the 328 will kind of more like fall in this price range of these four. It's around that 95 to 10.5 price range. This one steps you up to 11 to 12 because you get the grammar seat, headlights, 37 horse, and this comes with a 5400 transmission. Uh, talk about Grasshopper. They're old school here. They have been our biggest used commercial mower in our in our whole region for the last 30 years. It was Grasshopper and Dixon. Um, Grasshopper also uses this two belt system, but it is not toothed. So I do see a little slippage on that that I don't see on the Skag. As far as the deck goes, it's seven gauge deck, just like everybody else here, but they also have a 10 gauge plate on top to protect your spindles and pulleys. So uh, Grasshopper claims that it's the, it's, the, it's the stoutest top of the deck in the industry, seven gauge or 10 gauge plate. Um, what else we got on this mower? This has a three-year parts, four-year parts and labor, uh, two-year parts and labor unlimited, and a three-year parts for commercial guys. And the three-year parts is limited. Just like the Skag, your three-year parts is kind of limited for a commercial guy. Uh, your spindles are for three years and a few other things. But, uh, man, I don't know if y'all can see this mower, but Grasshopper has done such a good design on this thing. With the laser cutting here, Grasshopper here, uh, these transmissions are real smooth on the Grasshopper. Out of all four, uh, Hustler, of course, wins out with the smoothest transmission. Uh, Bad Boy's the most adjustable. Uh, some people, like a guy today said, I like the Ferris driving more than the Bad Boy. I said, well, you can adjust the trans you can adjust the transmissions to drive just like anybody else. I kind of show you something a little bit different Bad Boy did. Uh, there's 19 different settings here where you can adjust these sticks to operate like a Gravely, a Kubota, a Skag. You can have them tight, you can have them loose. Uh, kind of forgot about that. So if y'all have any questions, y'all can uh, y'all can ask me down in the comment section. Uh, again, just like the other four that I did in the video, uh, working on these things, you saw me lift up the bad boy. I lift up a few of these. It's a gas tank. That's it. A little tight to work on. Um, again with the with the batteries. You know, uh, the batteries are in the frames. On most of these. Yeah, it's real tight. Um, and uh, your other thing is the separated reservoirs. It looks like out of all of these, Bad Boy's the only one that separates their uh, their reservoirs. Let me check Hustler just to make sure. Yeah, Bad Boy's the only one that's got separate reservoirs for the transmissions. So uh, this this might be a little bit easier to work on. Oh yeah, here we go. This one's gonna be a lot like Bad Boy. What I like about these, these are Parker HT12s. They're one of the smoothest transmissions in the market. I used to have my Spartan custom made with those on there. Me and the owner Spartan would have our own mowers kind of custom made with each other. And uh, instead of using the big 16s, we would use these 12s. They were a little less responsive and a little smoother. But anyways, this is our four, four big machines. Uh, all these you can get in zero for 48 bucks around that 200 uh, two hundred and thirty dollar price range. Um, yeah, if you got any more questions, just holler at me. I'll do a little. I'll do a little pan. I, I, I appreciate y'all hearing me ramble. I'm, I, we were worn out today. Uh, we've done forty eight machines this week, so it's been kind of a long week. Uh, most of them were today and yesterday, and my salesman was off today. <laughs> so I uh, hope y'all don't mind me being a little tired in this video. But uh, if you'll notice. We've wiped out a lot of the showroom uh, with my horse today. So, and I appreciate y'all tuning in. Uh, y'all come see us, 623 North Main. God bless y'all.